This is tip number three on using your tuner. I'm talking about this type of tuner right here. If you notice where my thumb is, there's a button that allows you to play sound through the tuner. So the first way we use a tuner is to look at it while we play a note. By looking at the arrow or the blinking lights, you can tell if you're in tune or not. But another way you can use the tuner is that sound button I mentioned. There's the basic sound. I can choose different pitches. There's a B-flat 3. This tuner will let me go up to a B-flat 4. I'll go back to the 3 for a minute. In a normal musical situation, you're listening to other players, not watching a needle to tell you if you're on tune or not. We can use that tone on the tuner to practice doing that. Now suppose you're not confident in your ear's ability. You can check yourself very easily with a tuner. I'll turn the camera around and show you that. I have the tuner playing the B-flat again. I'm going to put my thumb on the sound button, but not press it yet. First I'll try to match the B-flat by ear, then I'll push the button, and the tuner will tell me if I've succeeded. And in that case, I did succeed. Truth be told, I'm not always successful, so this is something I need to practice, and we probably all should. Using that technique requires that you have the horn in a stable position without the use of your left hand. So my horn's resting on a lap pad right now. That leaves my left hand free to manipulate the tuner. I hope you found that tip helpful. Thanks for listening.